All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today, I'm going to be replacing the sliders and O-rings on my primary clutch on my Skidoo Summit. So, hope you enjoy. All right, guys, so I already took my belt off. All you gotta do is loosen up this uh, Allen wrench, then you tighten this whole nut, and then it'll loosen your belt so you can slide it off the top of the secondary, and then you can get off the primary. Then next thing you want to do is get this big bolt out. It's going to be a 21 millimeter socket. You're going to want to pull that out. This next thing you want to do is just get your sled propped up on its side. I just have it held up with a chair right there. Then I don't know if you've seen the water trick, but we're going to dump some water in there. Put some Teflon tape around the end of that bolt, screw it in, and it'll top that clutch right out. All right, so if you got your bolt that you just pulled out of the clutch, you're just going to want to take some Teflon tape and uh, wrap this thing up. And make sure you wrap it the right way so that when you screw it in, it's not going against the, the tape, if you know what I mean, so that the end doesn't come unraveled. Just like that, and then let's go over to the sled. Once you got your uh, tape on your bolt, just take some water. You're just gonna wanna fill up that hole and then thread your bolt in. All right, guys, just to let you know, that part where I popped the clutch off does take a couple tries sometimes. It took me multiple tries, and I ended up having to have my dad hold the clutch so I could get a really good turn on that bolt. So you might have to redo the Teflon tape multiple times. That's what I had to do, but um, just keep trying. Uh, it does work. So for this next part, I didn't commentate in the video, but basically you use that same bolt and screw it into the clutch again. Make sure the threads are in all the way just so when you hammer on it, it doesn't strip anything. But then you're going to hold it in the air and then give it a good hit um, right on the bolt and it should separate. I didn't catch it on video. For some reason, my phone stopped filming when I actually got it. And I actually used a bigger hammer as well. So um, use a bigger, like a sl handheld sledgehammer. Give that thing a good hit and it should separate. After you get that separated, it should look like this. And then as you see me doing the video, you can just pull that one piece right out. And then that's where you're going to access your buttons and o -rings. Now that you've got your clutch all taken apart, you can get your new buttons and o-rings as you can see here. These are my old ones. They look pretty worn out compared to the new ones. Um, so yeah, just get a, a, a nice towel or whatever to make sure you don't lose any parts and I'll show you how to put those in. Basically guys, the o-rings and sliders are going to go right in those little slots as you can see me just kind of cleaning them out right now. Um, you just want to make sure there's nothing in there that's going to kind of cut those o-rings i grab a little knife here and then uh, just clean out the little areas so guys after you've cleaned out those little areas um it's time to put your buttons and o-rings in as you can see me just putting the o-rings over the buttons right now um that's the easiest way to do it so i'm just going to show you here how the o-rings and buttons go in the clutch um they just kind of sit in there uh just like this as you're seeing right now and there is a tool you can buy or a set of tools you can buy to like hold them in while you slide it in the other part of the clutch but um you don't have to use the tool it's just going to be a, a little more harder to do so for putting these in um i just did like one at a time or two at a time i guess uh but you can see me just holding those two buttons on each side of that piece right there kind of sliding it in like halfway and then um turn the clutch and try to do that all the way around it is kind of tricky to do without the tool, but um, that's how I did it. If you do have the tools, you just put the clips over all the buttons, slide it in, take the clips off. It's pretty easy. Also, guys, forgot to mention this, but there should be a little arrow on your clutch, and then there should be a little marker mark or an indent in the metal on the other side of your clutch. As you can see, I circled them on the picture above. You need to line that up when you're putting it back together. So make sure to do that. Once you finally get those buttons and o-rings in, it should look something like this. Alright guys, so those marks I was telling you to line up earlier, um, on my clutch they weren't very prominent or easy to see. 
So if you want to, you can always take a Sharpie and just make a little mark where they are. That way next time um, they'll be a lot easier to see. There's also one on your stationary piece, as you can see right now. Then you'll want to line that up when you go to put your clutch back together. Then putting your clutch back together is pretty easy. Just take your main uh, piece that you just put the buttons and o-rings in and just slide it over top of the stationary piece. And then make sure when you go to put it back on your sled that you have those dots lined up. Alright guys, so after you've got your, your new buttons and o-rings in, you're ready to put your clutch back on. Uh, you just want to kind of clean up this area, this mating surface right here, and then this thing as well. And then we're actually going to put some never sees right on the face of this so that next time someone needs to take it off, um, it's much easier. Also guys, you're going to want to make sure to put a little bit of grease in this uh, little groove that is right here. As you can see, there's a little rubber uh, bushing in there. Make sure there's some grease in there. Alright guys, I got some grease on this part here. A little bit of never sees around the flat part. Ready to put your clutch back on. Just take it and... right back on. I'm going to push it in as far as it can go. Then you want to take your main bolt. Uh, make sure you still have this washer that was on there when you took it off. Put that back on and get this thing started. <clears throat> Alright guys, so once you get to this part, you are going to want to tighten this thing down and you're gonna need a torque wrench for this. Um, you're gonna have to tighten this thing down to 85 to 92 foot pounds. Um, and if you don't know, next where I got this number, it's actually right on your belt cover. There's a little sticker that shows um, what it should be tightened down to. So we're gonna grab a torque wrench and tighten that down to uh, about 85 foot pounds. Okay, so I have my primary clutch back on. I got this tightened down to around 85 foot pounds. Now it is time to put my belt back on. When you're putting your belt back on, make sure you look, there's little arrows. You might not be able to see these super well, but um, those arrows have to go the way that the, the direction that the clutch spins, which is counterclockwise this way. So just make sure you put that on the right way. Get this belt around our primary. Clutch. And then see if I can do this with one hand. Get this around our secondary clutch. Alright guys, got that belt on. Um, now we have to adjust it. Basically, you want to loosen this whole little nut thing right here out. Um, it's kind of weird, you loosen it to tighten the belt you tighten it to loosen the belt and I don't have the tool that goes on here so I just take a rag put it around here and then use a channel locks and turn it which works just fine so I've got this nut loose now and I backed it off a little ways and then you're gonna want to just kind of take your belt and just spin it you guys so um, as you can see the belt is getting tighter but it's still not tight enough I'm gonna keep rotating it. Um, and it looks like we're almost there. You just want these, basically the bottom of these grooves to just be showing above your uh, secondary clutch. So just keep loosening it and moving it around until it gets to that spot. And then you're gonna wanna tighten that Allen key down um, nice and snug. So I just realized I didn't say this in the video, but um obviously tighten that whole nut down until it is against that secondary clutch, then tighten the Allen key. After that, that's pretty much it. That's all there is to um, changing your sliders and your O-rings. So mine were pretty worn out. There was a little bit of play in this. Now it's nice and snug and um, I should be good to go. So I uh, hope you guys found this helpful and please subscribe and comment down below what you want to see next. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.